Well, Mr. Rove, welcome to the University of Albany. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Well, as, as you know, that this event tonight um, is part of a series uh, called the World Within Re uh, Reach Speaker Series, and it has been entirely produced, organized, directed by students. Yeah. So my question is, uh, what's your view of the uh, civic engagement of students today in the United States? Yeah, well look, there are programs like this that show a high degree of engagement and activity. I've be really been impressed incidentally by how well this is one that's been organized and the involvement of students. Uh, I got to uh, lecture to a class today on public policy, about a hundred and some odd students. So it's, you know, the, the organizers have been very accommodating and well organized, and that's important. I think there's a, a high degree of engagement, but I think it could be a lot bigger and a lot more all across the country as I travel the country and see it. I like what I see, but I just see a lot of students who you know, are engaged, but others who sort of are trying to figure out how and why they should be engaged. And it's really, you know, the, college is a chance for people to pick something that, that they care passionately about and be involved in it and set their course for their life. Uh, you know, it's, and, and I, I hope that, that programs like this encourage people to, to be more involved, whether it's in student government or student programs like this or community service programs of which there are a vast number that would love to have more student assistance. You know, students are always interested in how someone like you got interested in politics. When did you get interested? I, I can't remember a time when I haven't been. But my interest was cultivated by my teachers. I had two teachers in high school in particular and one in college who really fanned the embers of political interest. And uh, I think we all look back and see somebody like that in our lives. And, uh, but I've, I've always been involved in politics. As a, it's always nice to hear you refer to teachers. As a teacher <laughs> myself, as a professor, it's always nice yeah. to hear a comment like that. Yeah. Uh, a, a world within reach is, a, is, is the uh, branding uh, message that the university is uh, using. And uh, we're a state university, as you know, but we like to think that we reach beyond uh, the state of New York. How important is globalization and global affairs to students today? Well, I think, look, we, we live in a world in which, you know, our, our, everything that we do is now on a much bigger and broader stage. I mean, 50 or 100 years ago, uh, the factories in this part of New York competed with other factories in, in the central part of New York. Today, our enterprises compete with enterprises across the globe. Things that happen in a distant corner of the world have an almost immediate impact upon our country and our people. Think about the recent earthquake in Haiti. I mean, a hundred years ago, we would have, you know, days or weeks afterwards heard news of this and, uh, you know, gone about our business and instead seen now the images as they were happening it grabbed our consciousness and motivated people to serve, uh, you know, a neighbor in need uh, in a very profound and powerful way. So, you know, this university at Albany is going to, the, the people who go out of its doors are going to live in a broad world. And so being, being involved and knowledgeable about and aware of the rest of the world is absolutely vital to young students today. Well, I know that you and Governor Dean have been doing this at a few universities now in the United States, yeah. maybe more than a few. Maybe there's some more coming uh, in the future. Uh, what have you been picking up from college students? Well, I, you know, I'm, I'm, I hear a lot of concern about the future because they're coming to understand that, that, the, that, the, that the things that we do today, the price tag for them has to be paid by them tomorrow. The things that we fail to do today will affect them tomorrow. And so I, I, I sense a growing awareness by students that they have a, should have a keen interest in the public affairs of our country because it will deeply affect their lives for good or for ill. So I have one last question for you. Yeah. For you. And going back to say 2004, 2006, could you imagine that you would have been on a speaking tour with Governor Dean? Uh, no, and, and, and I don't think he would have either. Uh, but it's been fun to do and it's, I hope, illuminating. We, we, we don't agree on a lot of things. We agree on some things. You'd be surprised how often we find ourselves in agreement. But I think it's a way for people to get a chance to hear different points of view and to see the kind of debate and dialogue that we can have about these issues. And then they can sort it out and come to their own conclusion. Well, I can tell you that this, this university is buzzing and really excited about today and uh, the coming debate that's uh, going to be uh, going on. And about an hour and a half or so. Yeah. And uh, on behalf of the university, I want to welcome you. And uh, it's been a pleasure talking to well, you. Well, thanks. Thanks for having me. Appreciate it.